Hey, how you doing today, guys? Welcome back to the garage. This is Alex over here. And today, this is not a mountain bike related video. It's actually about my Ram 1500. Right there, specifically about that. What I mean by, about it specifically about that is that uh, I had an email from the Lumina store at Amazon and they sent me some puddle lights for my Ram 1500. The ones that I currently have have uh, clear plastic whatever and they sent me for free. They didn't tell me what to say. They just told me, hey, want some headlights, make a video, be nice. And they sent me these ones. They're smoked and they're supposed to be sequential. So in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and install it, go a little bit, a little bit detailed. They're supposed to be just hold, hold up by clamps. So it should be pretty simple and easy. Let's go ahead and put this thing on and come back at the end to see how these do. And these are LEDs, by the way. All right, let's get right into it. But again, before I go over all that, please go ahead and subscribe, turn the notification bell on if you like mountain bikes. I have a lot of videos about that and I have a, lot, a few videos about the Ram and other car stuff. Check that out. And if you want to support the channel, I'll leave affiliate links in the description below. I will also leave links for this product in the description and let's, let's get right into it. If you guys have not seen the video where I swapped the front end this is a 2011 it had the horizontal uh, fog lights and i went ahead and replaced the bumper grill fog lights and everything behind it go ahead and check it out i live in a card over here in the corner go ahead and check it out it's super easy it's not that expensive so really good video to watch now let's see over here so these are the ones that i'm going to be replacing and these are also puddle lights so let me show you so they are on right now so that's really really good i have not seen them i do not recall seeing them as uh blinking lights let me check let's see i have the hazard on oh yeah they do they do blink so that's a good thing now these new ones are supposed to be sequential so we'll see about that again they have the paddle lights and the blinker. However, mine, my paddle light on the passenger side went off many years ago. And I have not been able to find this. So I'm pretty convenient that these guys reached out to me. Let's go ahead and get this swap. And I'll, I'm going to go ahead and replace one. And then I'll show you how to do it on the next one. So I had to move outside of the garage because one thing, I couldn't reach this one. Plus it's Texas, it's hot, it's humid, and I'm over here on the shade. So this is gonna work great. So the box comes with the two sides and also the plastic pry bar. So seems like this is all we're gonna need. Let's go ahead and see. So these are also labeled, plus you can just compare them left hand so this is the driver side and right hand so this is the passenger side and as i can see we have a clip right here and a connector right here so i'm gonna have to see how these things are connected and go from there okay so i was watching a little bit of references right here and it says to start over here at the bottom because there's some also some clips kind of things right here so there you go that comes out super easy once i did that that comes out and that gives me man that that's it well that was easier than i expected so this is super easy and then at the back you have the plug so lift this thing up and that comes out just like that and just for reference look at this thing that was that was bad so this is the clip so it should be a perfect fit let's go ahead and put this in and as you can see these are the little tabs that you need to pry off starting from this side up this one was not latched in when i pulled it out so it was super easy it was there strong anyway but 
let's see now to put this on reverse order of operations i'm gonna take the film off this looks super sweet got the puddle lights right there and the sequential turning and it has a little bit of a gasket right here i'm gonna plug them in like so there you go and then we're just gonna push them back in so right here if you can't yeah you can see right here there's a slot and this is where this tab goes in so i'm gonna start by putting this end inside that channel kind of like a do like a two-part motion kind of thing in here because this has to go inside that and then the rear gasket has to go inside the back cover as well. So let's see how we're gonna manage that. Use your pry tool to open up the trim, tug it, push it, pull it, and it should go in. My thumb is hurting for us being hurting for a while now, but if your thumb is not hurting. And it should be pretty step straightforward. There's a little notch right here. It also has to go right there. Almost there. Flush everywhere. Yeah. It's in, all good to go. Let's go ahead and take care of the other one. So let's see, for this side, I found it easier to start from this bottom side. There you go, it unclips right there. Push that in. There you go. Easy. Unplug this, get the new one. Pull it off. Plug it in. Well now, let's see. Then, how the light works now after I don't know how many years so that's great well that was it pretty easy pretty self uh, just click and taps it shouldn't take you more than 15 minutes to do so it took me a little longer than that because I was recording now what do I think about this product well I recommend it uh, well first of all I'll leave affiliate links in the description below but they're under $63 they have both either the sequential or the non-sequential available for $10 less. If that's an option you want to go with, that, that's something that you can do. Both of them come with the paddle lights. Now, what I noticed when they offered them to me, uh, they sent them to me and asked them they could have sent the sequential ones. They did. Uh, the sequential those works as you were able to see. I am pleased because the way they look, they're actually going with the look that I'm looking for for my vehicle, for my truck specifically. I'm trying to go for a blackout team. So I already have the batches, the fog lights, the emblems, and now the puddle lights, which is great. They look amazing. All I need now is the blackout uh, headlights, but they're expensive. So if there's anybody out there that wanna send them, I can review them for you. I'd be happy to do so. Now, again, I hope that you like this video. Again, it's super quick and easy. They provide you with a tool. All you gotta do is pry from the front and then it should come right off unclip it clip it back in and it should be right on other than that i hope that you like this video if you're into fort germ rams then this is something that you might want to do especially if your original paddle lights are off they're fume or whatever happened to them they're not working this is a great aftermarket part that i will highly recommend that is gonna be it for today again i'll leave a few links for those parts in the description below I and as well for different ways to support the channel if you're interested in doing so.
and I'll see you on the next one. Let's ride. Goodbye.